After a girl who was 11 years and 3 months old gave birth to the child of her 12-year-old boyfriend, a couple have become the youngest parents in Britain. Last weekend, the girl who was in first grade when she became pregnant gave birth to a daughter. A source revealed last night that they are completely in love and intend to remain together to raise their young daughter. The parents are the youngest British parents ever combined. The youngster is also five months younger than Scott Tressa Middleton, the previous youngest mother in the country at 11 years, three months. Over a year has passed since the couple became parents, and yesterday, the girl who became pregnant at the age of 11 went to register the birth, accompanied by her mother and another woman. Both sets of grandparents are quite supportive, according to a source. The parents are both quite young, which makes the situation incredibly challenging, but their family are right behind them. The baby's parents have been dating for more than a year, so this is not a short-lived relationship. They want to raise their daughter as a unit and stay close. They're deeply in love and incredibly into one another. At a different school, he's in year nine and she's in year seven. When the girl who cannot be named for legal reasons abruptly stopped attending school last month, her classmates were unaware that she was pregnant. She intends to go back and continue her studies in September, it's understood. The girl resides in a North London semi with her mother, who is one of UK's youngest ever grandmothers at 27 and one month old. According to reports, the schoolboy frequently stops by the house. After the weekend delivery, the new parents happily shared a photo of themselves online with their baby. The mother was seen holding her infant while lying in bed in a hospital gown, while the youngster gently stroked the baby's head. When the mother first met the father, who was 12 at the time, it was Christmas before last. It's known that during the time they lived near to one another. Regarding the young mother, a source said, Everyone is stunned. This year, she attended school till March. She didn't appear to be pregnant. She's not big at all. She had no extra weight on her. No one was aware of her reasons for quitting school. She suddenly stopped being present one day. Her mother is following close behind. Since she was a teenage mother herself, she's not criticizing or being critical of her. The girl's peers find out she's a mother shocking. She wasn't the outspoken or rebellious student of the class. Soon after Christmas, she and the young man met at a park. She repeatedly scribbled his name across the pages of her folder, which is a typical behavior for an 11-year-old. She's totally fixated on him. This, in her eyes, is real love. They desire a union and marriage. The baby of the schoolgirl weighed 7 pounds 4 ounces, which is about normal for a girl in the UK. Moreover, in 2019, a baby-faced Alfie Patton, now aged 23, made news in 2009 when he claimed to have gotten Chantelle Stedman, then his girlfriend of 11 years old, pregnant when he was only 12 years old. However, a DNA test revealed that baby Maisie was not the schoolboy's child six weeks later, sending him into a depressive episode. After being found guilty of criminal damage, Patton of Halsham, East Sussex, appeared today at Lou's Crown Court to receive his sentence. The court was informed that Patton, who currently is at home with his mother and is an alcoholic without a job, has a history of criminal offenses. He was already facing a 24-month suspended prison sentence after being found guilty of shoplifting, larceny, and possession of a toy gun on June 14th. But on July 11th, he became inebriated and started cursing and yelling at an elderly resident before wrecking cars in the road close to his Halsham house. The prosecutor, Hannah Hurley, alleged that Patton assaulted an elderly neighbor while cursing and breaking a fence, damaging a Skoda, and damaging a van. He was belligerent, abusive, and intoxicated, she claimed. He was moving quickly up and down the street. He was observed shouting and fighting with moving objects. Defense attorney Newton Fatanya claimed that Patton was attempting to deal with his severe alcoholism and that his GP was looking for medical and psychological assistance so that he could cut back on drinking. This young man is aware of the issues that are at stakes here, she remarked. Instead of continuing the destructive, chaotic behavior that's seriously harmful to his health, he wants to improve to become normal and seek serenity. Patton should have received an automatic jail sentence for violating the earlier suspended sentence, Judge Janet Watacore cautioned, but insisted that prison would not benefit him. I agree with your doctor that going to prison would be a very awful outcome for you, she stated. You're consuming alcohol at dangerously excessive doses. Everyone can tell that you're a young man with a little build, thus the amount of alcohol you're consuming must be seriously harming your liver. In court to defend Patton were his mother and sister. 
There aren't many people in your situation who would have the family support you do, according to Judge Janet Watacore. Most people would have avoided you like the plague. She extended an existing rehabilitation order and gave a separate suspended sentence of one month and one week for the criminal damage offenses. You have a difficult trip ahead of you, but you cannot continue to commit crimes while intoxicated, Judge Watakor informed him. When Alvy was 18 years old, he admitted to the son on Sunday that his paternity experience had ruined his life. He acknowledged that after learning Maisie was not his child, he went through depression. He claimed that despite spending his days at home watching TV and collecting benefits, he's still known as the youngest dad. Every time I enter a pub, someone approaches me, he remarked. Thousands of Facebook messages also reach me. The level of interest in me that people have is absurd. However, I would caution any young man who is 12 or 13 to avoid making the same error. It destroyed my life. When the son first reported the incident, it was difficult to avoid being appalled by the image of the baby-faced youngster, whose voice is not yet broken, posing with his daughter Maisie. As a result, the conservatives used the incident as an illustration of Britain's social degradation. Since then, there have been a number of sleazy disclosures regarding the boy's family, as well as that of Chantel Stedman, his 15-year-old lover. Some include Dennis Patton, a serial love cheat who's fathered either seven or nine children with various women, depending on whose newspaper you believe, as Alfie's absentee father. Other tales include more teenage pregnancies, family strife, and the question of whether Alfie was physically fit to be a parent. It's understandable why News of the World compared the situation to the Channel 4 show Shameless, except that there was completely nothing remotely funny about it. By this weekend, two additional lads had expressed interest in the possibility that they, and not Alfie, might be the father. The News of the World reported that Tyler Barker, 14, and Richard Goodsell, 16, had many sexual encounters with Chantel right before she became pregnant. Now that DNA tests are being requested by the families of all implicated lads, Alfie's mother, Nicola Hill, told the Sunday Mirror, I don't believe it's his baby. One commenter on the News of the World website made the following playful suggestion in response to the paternity dispute. Anyone else think this might end up being similar to the Spartacus moment, where they all pretend to be him? Many kids aged 13 to 16 rising up and saying, I'm the daddy. You might be curious as to why these other lads are now so eager to take care of a newborn. However, if today's Independent on Sunday is accurate, there's money to be gained from the story with at least 15 television firms embroiled in a furious fight to film a documentary about it and media analysts predicting Alfie may earn up to half a million pounds. Let's only hope that this doesn't lead to a surge of imitative pregnancies as 11- and 12-year-olds attempt to profit across the nation. Back in 1998, before the Alfie Davis case, Sean Stewart held the title of being the youngest father in Britain. When he impregnated his neighbor, Emma Webster, who was 15 at the time, he was only 11 years old. Following the news that 13-year-old Alfie Patton had become a parent, one guy experienced a startling sense of deja vu. When he had sex with his 15-year-old next-door neighbor, Emma Webster, Sean Stewart was just 11 years old. On January 20, 1998, just one month after Sean turned 12, he was granted a day off from school to be there with his son, Ben Lewis, was born nine months after that. However, 11 years after becoming the youngest parent in Britain, Sean, now 23, can only follow Alfie Patton's journey from his cell in a prison. Emma, his previous flame, has since married someone else and moved on. The family resides in a 200,000-pound home with their other kids and 11-year-old Ben. Sean Stewart's life is very different from the commitments he made before the birth of his son. He was living in Bedford at the time with his 38-year-old single mother, Teresa, who had seven children from three different men. Emma was residing next door to her mother, Shirley, who was 46 at the time, and her father, Ray, who was 49 and a forklift driver without a job. The tale of how Sean would scale a roof to rendezvous with Emma made international headlines. Sean said to the Daily Mail when Emma was born, I hope to stay good friends with Emma for as long as possible. She meets me at the bus stop every afternoon and comes over to my house every morning before school. Nothing has gone wrong and things are fine right now. Sean briefly attended Margaret Beaufort Middle School in Resley before leaving Bedford when he was just a teenager. Since then, he's lived on the South Coast and has previously resided in a number of different locations in the St. Leonard's and Hastings region of Sussex.
He's had several run-ins with the law and was taken into custody in November of last year on suspicion of stealing. He was given a seven-month prison term when he appeared at Lewes County Court in December of last year. He's currently incarcerated at HMP Lewes. Later, his mother fell in love with and wed another man. I don't know where Sean is, she said when asked this week if she had recently spoken to her rebellious son. After the two sold their story to a Sunday newspaper, Emma had plans to go back to school. When questioned about Sean Stewart three years ago, she would only respond, I haven't seen Sean in three or four years, and he hasn't seen Ben in that time. I'm currently married and have a lovely family. Ben is succeeding academically. All we want to do is move on with our lives. I have no idea where or what Sean is up to. I don't think discussing it more will benefit Ben, so I don't want to do so. According to her most recent profile on the social networking site, she's married a nice bloke and things are finally going well.